Hey Disney fans, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a review on an item that I got from Shop Disney a couple weeks ago now. I'm um, just now finally getting around to doing it though. And that is the brand new Frozen set, which includes Elsa in like the fifth uh, spirit outfit and then the new Frozen Ice Knock instead of the Water Knock. So stay tuned as we go over this de uh, set in detail. I am gonna debox it so we can really look at it. So definitely stay tuned and let me know what you guys think. Okay, so as usual, we'll start with the box first. So like normal uh, Disney store, there is the logo there in the corner, three plus in the other corner. One thing I found interesting with this set, unlike the other set that I have, there's no plastic protecting like the, the film in front. So you can just reach right in and touch them, which I think is kind of strange and a little weird. Hence one of the re many reasons why I'm gonna go ahead and just debox this one since it's already gonna get dusty anyways. Um, but we do have Anna and Elsa and their journey outfits there in the corner, Disney Frozen 2, Elsa and Ice Knock. And of course, the normal warnings. On the sides, we just have more of the birch tree design. And then on the back, we have the beautiful landscape that we've seen on many of the other doll sets. Uh, Frozen 2 and then down in the corner you can see here that mine is ripped off but I think it was 40 there it is $44.99 um, for this set it's not too terrible of a price for as big as it is um, and as you get to see here in a moment all the really cool details that are on the ice knock so stay tuned as we get her unboxed real quick before I take her completely out of the box I did want to show you the background so we've got this really cool um, winter forest scene kind of like at the end of the movie when she does turn the, the water knock into the ice knock so you can kind of see those details there really really neat so now we're going to go ahead and get these two out okay so i finally got these guys out of the box that was a lot of fun uh the water knock had a uh, one of those wire ties that was like stuck up in his tail and actually seemed to have gotten glued to it almost it was very strange but he's out now that's all that matters We've got Elsa out, she looks fantastic. Um, I really do like this set and getting her out makes me really, really, really want to debox my limited edition Elsa uh, that looks just like this one. So that may be a video down the road, you never know, we'll see. Um, Cause I really like the way that this one looks out. <laughs> so anyhow, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get a good look at the knock, then we'll take a good look at Elsa, uh, but they are finally out. So let's go ahead and dive into this really cool um, doll set and review. Okay, so we're gonna start with the knock, and he is amazing. Uh, I love the details. We've got like some ice crystal glitter going on on his back here. You can see down into the tail. You can see there, uh, right there is where mine, uh, the twisty tie got kind of stuck in there. So it got a little wonky. I might have to glue that in. I'm not too sure because it does look like it separated a little bit. Um, beautifully done. His tail's covered in glitter. And he's got this translucent body, of course, because he is water or an element, I guess, of water. But the beautiful details that I did not notice when he was in the box were these gorgeous snowflake designs on his head. And then he also has one on his back right there, you can see. So very, very, very beautiful. I love how they pulled the execution of this one off. Absolutely stunning. And of course his mane is different this time. Instead of being a liquid flow uh, form look to it, unlike it was on the last knock, we now have this glittering ice mane that is so, so stunning. I love it when Elsa turns the water knock into ice in the movie. I think it's really, really cool. Um, I'm not sure why that's happening there. Like his tail does not touch the ground, whatever, it's fine. Um, but the coolest feature, of course, of these knocks is what they do to the body. So like the water knock has liquid with glitter. This one has just a bunch of really like sparkly glitter inside. So they're shaped like the, um, Five elements that we know and love from Frozen 2 and they can just kind of go back and forth back and forth inside the horse so really fun little uh, detail that they added there um, for playtime or for display whatever you want to do but I do think it is a really really neat feature and I love that they do that um, of course he's more opaque up here so he's more translucent here so you can see that that little element there he's got glitter on his hooves Really, 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 really well done. Absolutely love the knock. So now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at Elsa. Okay, so now we have Elsa. And of course this is the, what everyone knows is the show yourself dress, the fifth spirit or fifth element dress, whatever you wanna call it. Um, but this is the, of course, ending outfit that Elsa is in. So she is 11 inch classic doll size. She has fully articulated shoulders, elbows, wrists, and then um, also in her knees, I do believe are the, Yep, they're articulated. They're not the bend and snap, they're articulated. And then in her uh, ankle also can turn and move. So fully articulated doll 
which is really nice. Um, she is really, really well done. Her skin is different color than the previous Elsa dolls. My other Elsa is still in her huge box, so I can't really compare the two because uh, all you see is glare on the other one. But this one seems to be more pale and more white uh, as compared to like the Journey Elsa uh, classic doll that has been released previously to this one. So nice little difference there. Of course, she does have this really stiff fabric, which is from the um, glue glitter being applied to her outfit. It does make it very, very stiff. Um, and it also makes it very sticky. Like if I turn this in on itself, it does tend to get stuck on itself. So just a little heads up there. If you do display, uh, you'll have to work with it a little bit. It does stay. <laughs> like I found if I'm messing with the tails in the back. If I do that, it does stay like that. Um, but she does have on her pants and then she does have these really cool little uh, snowflake glitter blue sandal type shoes. So the one drawback to Elsa is the fact that once again, Disney gave us a very thin hair. So you can see here, it's very, 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 very thin. Um, not a whole lot going on in the back of the head uh, when it comes to hairstyle. So I bet if I played with that hair a little bit, maybe tease it up a little bit, it might look a little more full. But um, and then again, it is a play, a play line classic size doll. So can't expect too much. Um, here you can see the glitter that's on the flowing cape portion of her outfit. So all in all, a very well done representation of the doll from, or of, of the movie here done in doll form. I really do like this set. Um, of course, my favorite part of it is the knock. I love the knock. I think he's so, so cool. And I love all these little details along her sleeve, the little snowflakes and diamond patterns and such. So very, very well done. Face mold is on point. Paint job is fantastic um, considering what it is. I mean, you know, I don't expect a whole lot when it comes from Playline. So um, I'm happy with this. I think it looks really good. So there is the Elsa from the Elsa and Ice Knock Playline set. Alrighty guys, well I hope you enjoyed my review of the Elsa and Ice Knock set. I do think this is a really cool set and anything that has a knock it out, I'm gonna go for it because I love the water knock. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions about it or anything else I've shown on my channel, please leave those questions and comments down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them when I can. I try to answer as soon as possible. Sometimes it takes a day or two to get back, so do be patient with me if you don't mind. I'm homeschooling uh, my three kids at the moment, so that can be a little, uh, crazy <laughs> but fun and i'm glad we're keeping them safe and healthy so but anyhow if you do have comments of course definitely those down below leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you haven't already do consider subscribing this is what i do here on my channel it's a lot of disney reviews of disney items merchandise like this park stuff pins and limited edition dolls like you see on the wall behind me so definitely join the family if you haven't already if this is your thing Alrighty, guys well, i hope you enjoyed hope you're having an extra magical day and we will see you real soon